Hello, I am Gunjan. Welcome to this video. Objective of this video series is to talk about information risk and control considerations in an e-commerce environment. Over a period of time, continuous technology and communication advancement has significantly changed the way the business was done and the way the business information was managed. Hence, in an e-commerce environment, information handling is important and is critical that data travels from source to destination safely and is stored safely. Electronic commerce, that is e-commerce, has become a buzzword for businesses over the past many years. With increased awareness about the use of computer and communications technology to simplify business procedures and increase efficiency. E-commerce is more than a technology. It is a business model built around the application of information and communication technologies to any aspect of the value chain for products and services. The origin of commerce by exchanging goods occurred before recorded history. Now commerce is a basic activity of goods trading and buying in every life. Entering into the electronic era, the way individuals and organizations do business and undertake commercial transactions have been changed. The emergence of large business organizations in late 1800s and early 1900s triggered the need to create and maintain formal records of business transactions. The process of using a person or a computer to generate a paper form, mailing that form, and then having another person enter the data into the trading partner's computer was slow, inefficient, expensive, redundant, and unreliable. The history of e-commerce is how information technology has transformed business processes. The meaning of electronic commerce has changed over the last 30 years. Originally, electronic commerce meant the facilitation of commercial transactions electronically using technology such as electronic data interchange and electronic fund transfer. These were both introduced in late 1970s, allowing businesses to send commercial documents like purchase orders or invoices electronically. The introduction and acceptance of credit cards, automated terror machines, and telephone banking in 1980s were also form of electronic commerce. However, past two decades, electronic commerce includes enterprise resource planning, that is ERP systems, data mining, and data warehousing. E-commerce has changed the way the organizations operated in their traditional businesses, environments, E-commerce implementations are often coupled with re-engineering of traditional business processes by examining how business should be conducted by taking the advantage of the technology. Significantly and specifically, e-commerce replaces the traditional manual business processes with their automated electronic equivalents to accelerate ordering, delivery, and payment processes. For example, online booking of train tickets and air tickets, trading in a stock market, online purchase of movie tickets, online auction, shopping, online supply chain management, online banking, etc. If we look at these changes closely, we will find e-commerce is an enabler and has not changed the basic of traditional businesses. Basics remain same. However, it may be noted that e-commerce cannot replace all the functions in the traditional business. For example, take the case of an automobile purchase. Before buyer actually buys an automobile, he or she needs to test drive it. Such functions obviously can't be performed online.